Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat Worlds, and today we're going to compare the SKS and the QBU 88 DMRs. I've had quite a few people asking me to take a look at both of these weapons in my Weapon of the Week series, so I thought I just might cover them both at the same time. As far as DMRs go, the SKS and the QBU are both fast firing, lower damage DMRs, which you'd think would be better suited for close range combat. They do have a few pretty big differences though, so in this video we're going to take a look at both and figure out which one is actually better for CQB. Now in this video, to be fair, I'm running both guns with pretty much the same attachments. I'm using each gun's default hollow sight, the heavy barrel, ergo grip and the target detector. Both of these weapons are similar enough that these attachments should help in pretty much the same way without creating a noticeable disadvantage. For anyone who wants to try out either of these guns, I definitely recommend this setup for both, but if anyone has a different setup they'd like to suggest, then feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of you are going to suggest a higher powered optic, but honestly I like to save the magnification for the harder hitting DMRs that actually need it. But anyway, the most important difference between these two guns is their design in general, with the SKS being a conventional design and the QBU being a bullpup. A bullpup design puts the action and magazine of the weapon behind the trigger group, allowing for an overall shorter weapon that is better in CQB, but as a trade-off is slightly slower on the reload. In real life, the SKS is a carbine, so it's pretty short to begin with, but even so, it comes in at around 8 inches longer than the QBU, even though it has a 3 inch shorter barrel. This means that based on this alone, the QBU is both better in close quarters and more accurate than the SKS, which is consistent when you take a look at the stats in-game. The SKS does have some advantages over the QBU though, firing at 333 RPM versus the 310 RPM of the QBU. Most of the time this doesn't make a big difference, but what does make a difference is that the SKS has double the magazine size with a 21 round capacity versus the 11 round capacity of the QBU. The reason this is important is because both of these guns fire smaller intermediate sized rounds and not the full sized rounds of the other DMRs in the category. This means that they need 3 shots to kill at close range and 4 shots to kill at long range, and you can see with the QBU, this doesn't give you a lot of breathing room to miss any shots. Now that being said, in theory the QBU should be able to hit targets a lot more easily because not only is it more accurate than the SKS, it's got a ridiculously fast muzzle velocity of 670 meters per second. The SKS has only a 490 meters per second muzzle velocity, which means that you will have a hard time hitting long range moving targets unless you're used to leading your targets a fair bit. The QBU is maybe a fraction easier to handle as well, with slightly more vertical recoil and slightly less horizontal recoil than the SKS. With the DMR though, this also isn't all that important, and when it comes down to it, the main things that really set these guns apart are capacity, muzzle velocity, and accuracy. So bearing all of this in mind, which is the better close range DMR? Well, I sort of expect you guys to have mixed opinions on this one, but I think I'm definitely going to have to side with the SKS. The QBU is fine for long range shots, but it just doesn't have the capacity to make it a competitive close range weapon, and it sort of fails as a long range weapon as well when you get out to the 4 shot kill range. The SKS isn't perfect, and honestly it's not even my favourite DMR, but it still seems a whole lot more effective than the QBU when going head to head with automatic weapons. If you're a beast player and you can land consistent headshots though, I can see why the QBU might be better, because it's definitely a better gun when you forget about the capacity. But anyway, to finish up this video I should point out that while I don't hate either of these guns, I think the smaller caliber DMRs are much less effective than they used to be. When the game first launched, DMRs all took 4 shots to kill at long range, but since the buff, the other DMRs are now a whole lot more effective. If you really want to be effective at close to mid range, the M16A4 or the SCAR H assault rifles will both do a pretty good job as well, and will handle themselves a bit better in CQB. The SKS and the QBU are a bit better for counter sniping though, and they're a good entry into the DMR category for new players, so if you haven't already tried them out, I'd still recommend that you give them a go. But anyway guys, that just about wraps up this episode, so let me know what you think in the comments section below, and feel free to suggest a weapon and customization for next week's episode. As always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield 4 videos, I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below. But until next time, see you later, and have a good one.